What's up, guys? Welcome back. So the last episode, we finished up our little journey. We were looking for iron. <laughs> we ended up finding a bunch of bismuth and other stuff and not iron. <laughs> but, uh, you know, sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. So, yep, I just made myself some food here. And yeah, we're gonna do some multi-block chiseling, stuff like this. Like, how cool is this? This is where the chisel gets really awesome. And yeah, I worked this out. Uh, so, pretty much gonna be doing something kind of like this. Uh, and yeah, so... So yeah. If you've never uh, done any, like, multi-block chiseling, because, like, this is kind of the first time I've messed around with it, uh, this is how you do it. So, I decided, as you can see here, I decided for my my little countertop setup that I'm going to make, I decided that I'm going to go with this polished shirt and white, the plaster, and uh, also some of this... Uh, uh, polished, polished slate, yeah, <laughs> some of that stuff too, so, so yeah, this is how you get your, your multi-block materials, so I want, since the most of this is going to be white, I want the base, the base of this to be white, um, so that's going to be the first block that I put in, but I'm going to need to make few more polished blocks so yeah I'm gonna want two of these uh, yep that's right I want two of these I want to get a couple more of these uh, I think I'm only gonna need one for the way I want to do this but so now you take your your materials that you want to mix together so you know in my case plaster shirt slate so you put this stuff down and you take your chisel uh, and then you turn these into chiseled blocks so now you can break these and there they'll be known as chiseled blocks right-click them and turn them into chiseled blocks. So now we have these three chiseled blocks. So since I want my base to be white, I'm going to put the, the white on the top and we can add our other material. And as you can see, it's going to give us a white block, but it says there, multi-material. So that's going to have a white block, but we're also going to have the option to, to use this, you know, this red stuff too, polished shirt. So you do that. And you put that back up there. You put your other material in, as you can see. Multi-material block, still white. So now this block has those other materials in it. Yeah, pretty awesome. Very, very cool. And, you know, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to keep one wood table here to make my pies, because I'm pretty sure you have to have the table for the pie. But, you know, this is pretty much how I wanted to do this. So I want to take one of these regular ones and just turn it into uh, a slab. Get a couple slabs out of here. Oh, it's going to have that seam, isn't it? <laughs> Forgot about that. I might not want to use the slab. Because of the seam. Yeah, I don't want the seam. So, alright, I was going to use slabs to save materials, but... It's just one block anyway. <laughs> so I'll make a regular one of those, because what I'm just going to do right here in this middle section is just going to be real simple. Uh, I'm just going to chisel this out to this... Oops, not like that. To the same size as this thing here, this one. So I can 
get under there. <laughs> Yeah, let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves. So, yep, we're doing some chiseling. That's what we're going to be doing. Fun with the chisel. <laughs> so, yeah, you kind of get the picture of what I'm doing here. I just want this middle section, and then I'm going to do another one of these over here. And I will show you kind of the process of doing that, in case you don't know. And yeah, for people who are really artistic, you can imagine how you could get very creative with this. So let's put that back. So yeah, I got that like that. So now, before I set this there, I want to chisel this out into what I want it to be, which is one of those. So I'm going to put this here. So as you can see, when we press F, now we have these options and we can select we can select these colors. So the first thing I did was I wanted to create that lip. Yeah, so it's yeah, just a four by four lip. Or, yeah, this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. Create this lip around. No, kind of do this all the way around. Chiseling up some custom countertops. <laughs> Feels nice. All right, one last side. All right, so now I want I want this top part to be granite. So this is how I'm, this is how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do it like I did the last one. I'm gonna start around the edge. Alright, so now I'm going to go to this bigger one, save myself a bit of time, and you know, that's kind of cool too, but I want it all to be red for this, like there's just so many options you could do, and, like so many different styles, um, but now I'll just finish this up, and we'll have our top the countertop, this is polished shirt. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> so, now, let's put in some finer details, so, how did, let's see where, where how I did this, so I went one, two, how many did I leave up here, I left like one, and two there, one there, one, two, so this one, yeah, and we'll start putting this around, just 
one. Left click, right click, left click, right click. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. People who do a lot of chiseling are very familiar with that. So. <laughs> All right, so let's get let's get our black and give ourselves this black border here. keep our black now we're gonna do we'll just do this kind of randomly but you know every other one of these is gonna be black so that one's gonna be black that one's gonna be black red so this one's gonna be black just putting our little pattern in here Alright, now we'll replace those white ones with red ones. Whoops. Uh, I broke a black one. Right, let's do this. There we go. There we go. How cool is that? So, I'm just going to take this, set it right there. We can set stuff on it. So, yeah, there's a little counter, a little custom countertop. How cool is that? So now we're going to work on this. I don't want to work on this with the drifter right there, so... Oh, let's get wrecked, drifter. So, you know, I messed around with this for a while. I was originally going to do, like, full round pillars, and... Uh, you know, it just wasn't quite looking like I wanted it to. But these tops and bottom blocks here are multi-material. They have slate in them. So, you know, kind of my idea, my idea is for there to be, you know, kind of like this, where this, the middle of it is sort of like slate. And then the top is chert. And I'm kind of going to try to fade the colors into each other, you know, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, sort of like I've done here. Uh, but I need to do a little more work, but yeah. So we'll see if we can't, like, replicate what we got going on over here. So, yeah, first of all, I, I need that one in. So, just do two of these. And then I'm going to shave these corners down. Two. 
Okay, now I kind of want to do something up here. Do it like that. Do I want to put one? I kind of like that. That's not too bad. So, since these are multi-material, we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to kind of make this look like it's sort of like randomly blending in. If you know what I mean, or like uh Yeah. Just do something like this, you know, just kind of random. Like the colors are sort of, you know, I'm basically just trying to break up the, the abrupt transition like this from red to gray. I don't really want like an abrupt transition like that. So we're just doing this sort of randomly. I don't want more red like down here. So let's blend some more red in. Yeah, this center block is not multi material, so it can only be gray or black or whatever you want to call that <laughs> color. like an a ashy color but yeah um, now I was gonna use this stuff it's a little bit darker but uh, you know there's like seam stuff going on I wasn't too sure about that and yeah the pillars like the full round pillars like originally what I was gonna do is like where the center was a pillar, and then the base was still kind of square, and it was like all around. And that was, that looked really cool, but up against the flat block, uh, you know, it just kind of was weird. Because like, the fireplace was like all sunken in, and uh, you know, it just didn't really look sort of like I wanted it to. But I think this is looking a little better. And... Uh, I might actually, just looking at this, having this top stuff up here as some of this, like blending some of this, more of this polished chert into there, having that on, uh, along the top, I think would be nice. And then it, we would have sort of like this chiseled frame around, around here. And I think that would look really nice. Um... But for now, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty happy with how this is. Let me get my bowl back. <laughs> I'm still hungry. So yeah, <laughs> I'm liking that a lot better. And if you're wondering what I did with those weird decorative things, I put them here for now. Because uh, why not, right? <laughs> I don't know where else to put them. And, you know, I swear I just replaced these things. Let's get our house lit back up. So, 
So, yeah, you know, I actually really should have, while I was, um, mining more of this stuff, I should have got more chert so I could, I could do up here. But, you know, I, got, I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty tempted to, to do the same as what I've done here, where, like, the center of this is black, red, black, red, black, red, because this is, like, gonna match. See, like, we have the red border, then the black border, and then on the inside, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do black, red, black, red, and that's gonna match all that. I think that'll be really cool. So... Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, uh, quarry a little bit more of this stuff, and get a, get a few more uh, materials, and, uh, maybe, uh, think about a couple more little ideas I can do with the chisel. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be back. Alright guys, well, the sun is coming up, and uh, I think I got enough materials here to do my floor top and bottom so well I might not have enough to go around here but I don't think I'm gonna do that anyway I'm just gonna fill in the middle here but yeah anyway so let's just do this real quick let's break our axe <laughs> now we got a good axe over here now So let's just put in our checkered pattern here. I think this is going to look pretty cool. We got the drifters. They they really want to come in and see. Because, you know, they, they're taking notice to how awesome this place is looking. <laughs> but yeah, I actually, I, I put in a little bit more black here. Yeah, and I think that looks really cool. These things are awesome. Chisel is awesome. <laughs> Multi-material blocks are pretty cool. I can definitely see why people get addicted to chiseling. <laughs> I can totally see it. All right, let's uh, let's do red. The other one. Polish some of these. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Matches our counters. Our cabinets or whatever you want to call those things. So let's go up here. Let's make some more of these. Yep, I'm, I, I was panning more bony soil, uh, and the game does not want to give me another candle. So it seems like I got pretty lucky those first couple of times, but I have like two pieces of bony soil left, so I pretty much panned it all. But yeah, I got another diamond. Six emeralds. And uh, I got a couple more rusty gears and stuff too, so yeah, the bony soil's definitely worth uh, spending time panning. Oh. 
I'm starving. I need to eat. <laughs> okay. Um, any food left in there? I actually need some protein, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take one of my uh, red meat stews from down here. Just for now. What is this red meat stew with turnip and onion? Red meat stew, turnip, and blueberries. Let's take that one. Finish this up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Very cool. You know, I'm I'm kind of thinking about replacing this granite too with something, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I like that. So, as you can see here, yeah, I, I uh, put some put some polished shirt up here, so we're going to continue working on this, because I kind of got it laid out here. It's a little bit hard to see, but I'm going to do that, and then... I'm adding some more detail here. So you can see I added another like ridge like this. Try to blend these colors a little bit. Boy, that is tough to see. There we go. Yeah, in, in certain certain lighting, it's sort of tough to see the detail. You could see it easier on this side. But, you know, we're just adding some more detail. As we can. <laughs> A little bit more fine touches. All right, let's go over here. Alright, let's blend some of this black in a little bit, so there's not a rough transition. Oops. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's do this final ridge detail here. I 
Let's blend some red back in here. Just a little fine touches. Maybe I should blend some red into here. Blend a little bit of red into here. Yeah, I can't. I can't blend any red into there actually, because <laughs> I don't. That's not a multi-material. Do a little bit on on the side here. Blend a little black up here. We got kind of a rough transition here, so let's get rid of that. <laughs> I mean, that's not too bad for me. <laughs> for me, that's not too bad. Uh, it's it's better than the eyebrows, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think I want to do a ridge detail here. Cut this little ridge out. Kind of hard to see if this is matching up. Okay, I think that's right. Yeah, I like that. So we got some nice chiseled detail now in our in our fireplace, and uh, I got to blend the colors outside here. So I'm just gonna do sort of the same thing. Just blend out this transition. Uh, you know, I might I might end up covering this up with something, or I don't know, because it does look a, a little a little off out here. But I will work on that. I'll blend that in, make that uh, not stand out so much. But to me, it's definitely worth it to have this in here. And you know, it's not it's not the prettiest pillar, but you know, we at least we got. We got some definition now. A little bit of chisel definition. You know, I might add to this just a little bit, the, you know, as I think about it and as I look at it. But for now, I think that's looking better than what we had it for sure. I'm definitely liking that. So, yep, house is looking pretty nice. I'm liking it. Uh, I definitely want to do more chisel stuff. But for now, I'm going to have to cut this one here, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.